Hi, I'm Steve. Welcome to my shop and to Fenry Cord Stuff. On this week's show, we're going to be replacing uh, my outfit tabletop uh, with an MDF uh, MFT style board. Stay tuned and hope you enjoy. So I've seen these for sale. It's a UJK PARF guy system. This is the Mark II version, shown on YouTube in the new Brit Workshop by Peter Parfit. Having seen those th these online and uh, Peter's uh, really good uh, video about it, a sort of three part video, uh, the link will be up there somewhere. I thought I must have one of those, so it was on back order, so I've ordered it and it, and it arrived. It's time to replace this old sad top. Definitely seen better days. Hardboard top, uh, particle board, chipboard, conti board. Uh, underneath, uh, it's all screwed on. I can't, I can't remember whether I glued it or not. Release all the uh, holding clamps underneath. I will take the whole top off. I'm sure we'll find a use for it. 1300 long, and the MDF sheets are 244 by 122. I'm actually going to reduce this frame first. Uh, I'm going to keep the draw sizes the same. I've just got one uh, sliding tray in there, so I'll have to adjust that size as well. So I just take this to part, take a few centimetres off, and rebuild it again. Never rains, but it pours. Simple jobs. 120 centimetres, or 1200 millimetres. That'll give me 10 millimetres either side for the MDF, and I'm going to put uh, an edge capping all around the MDF. So that'll give me a little bit more all around, so that'll be sure. Right. Okay. 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 base units to size. Just cut a uh, piece of 18mm MDF, 1220 by 650 and I'll put some edging around it later. And the here, first thing I need to work out is where the frame sits so therefore the holes don't interfere. These are tight. Get some of this sort of fun slip mat. Seems to work well. The technique to put it in, fit it into the uh, ruler first, 
and push it down. chamfer tool, put a chamfer in all the holes. It's got like a carbide insert in there. Nice little gadgets. doing all that obviously soft soft job I must have uh, with doing all the uh, chamfering with this tool and my, my hands oh, gosh it's really sore in there so I'm just uh, wrapping some of this uh, rubber matting non-slip matting <laughs> make life a little bit easier I've always wondered, when I've seen this done before, what does it look like underneath? Well, I'm going to have a look to see if there's any blowout. I guess I'm going to have to uh, put a chamfer on it anyway, so here we go. Generally speaking, that uh, cutter's done a great job. The odd little bit of blowout here and there. Nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy. I'll zoom in, see if, see if we can find one. Just a little bit of blowout there. We'll give the hand a bit more work out. We'll start with that one. Once the chamfer is done, there's no blowout at all. Excellent job. Well pleased. I'll just carry on uh, putting a chamfer in all these holes. I'll catch up with you when I'm done.
course of tracks so I was eating these, hitting these uh, longer dogs. What I've actually done, I've just drilled another uh, line of bolts. So that should just give me a clearance. Look what we've just done. I've put it against those dogs. Now, I'll give this Oh, I've put a saw track in my new tabletop. That'll do the job for me. 